All right, welcome to another episode of Courting Cinderella's. I'm Jeff Goodman, and here with Mercer head coach Greg Gary, who's going to break down the SoCon champion Furman Paladins, the number one seed. Uh, they end up getting some uh, atonement from a year ago when they lose to Chattanooga in the title game. And Bob Rich has done a great job with his program, brought back a couple of, of stud um, veterans. All right, I I'm going to ask you a tough question. Who who's their guy? Who's their best player? It's not an easy decision, and you can go with two if you need to. Yeah, no, I was I, – I, no question, because each one of them could be player of the year. Slauson got it this year. Um, it, it really, really depends. Like you saw uh, in the Western Carolina game when Slauson went down and went with foul trouble and fouled out, like that whole demeanor changed a little bit. Now Bothwell and Pegues stepped up and did a phenomenal job. But if I have, oh gosh, uh, if I have to pick and one of them's going to be mad at me if I don't pick him, which they could care less, but um, I'm going to go with Slauson okay. just because I think from a defensive standpoint, he's elite. Um, you know, now Bothwell's a little bit better on the offensive end, but still Slauson, I mean, he busted 27 on us the second game of the year. You know, so if yeah, I have to pick with one, I, I I would probably go Slauson. Describe for those who haven't seen him. Describe Slauson's game a little bit. Uh, he he's a point forward is what he is. Um, he's he's gotten better as a shooter. Um, he doesn't make a bunch of them per game, so you're gonna you know you're gonna give him one or two. Now if he's hitting three or four, boy, you're in trouble. Yeah, you know if he hits that many threes, but he. He does an excellent job running their team because the ball goes through him a lot, um, you know, with their with their system and the way they run stuff. Uh, but he is athletic on the defensive end. Uh, last year, he was defensive player of the year, so he he can switch five ways with him. Got great size, great athleticism, uh, and he can he can really pass the basketball. Um, so he he's a hard cover, especially when he's hitting. When he's hitting some threes, he he's hard, and he's done a better job. His probably his weakness is his post up game. Um, you know, they they don't do a lot of post ups for him. Yeah. What what's the X factor for this team? Who who or what is it? Well, be, before this tournament, and Pegues, their point guard's really good and improved. In this tournament, he he went off like he had one heck of a tournament. Yeah. Before this tournament, I would say the X factor is Marcus Foster. Because because you're going to expect Slauson and Bothwell to get theirs and do what they do, uh, but Marcus Foster, when he's hitting threes, um, boy, you are in. It, it's because now they spread you out so much more um, because you know Pegues can really shoot the basketball. So now, who who you're going to help off of? It opens the floor up for them because all of them can pass, dribble, and shoot. But when Foster is is getting you know hitting two or three a game they they can beat a lot of people hey guys just a reminder our sponsor for today's episode is run your pool they are hosting the field of 68 bracket challenge this year they are giving away fifteen hundred dollars in free prizes it's all an incentive for you to get on there and find out just how good their platform is i've been using them for my bracket pools for years i've used them for super bowl squares i use them for everything that i need to use them for the biggest survivor pool that i'm in for both nfl and ncaa tournament is by Run Your Pool. So go check them out. The link's below. Tap in. I'm not going to ask you if they can win a game because I think we both agree they can win a game in the tournament. How do they win a game in the tournament? Why do they win a game? Uh, they 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 got to hit threes. You know, I, I think nowadays it, when you're at a mid-major, you see upsets. Usually guys are banging a lot of threes. Um, and they're capable. Like, they're very capable uh, of getting on a run and hitting a lot of threes. Uh, yeah, there's without question that they, they, they can they can definitely win a game in the tournament. They shoot, they might be able to win two. Yeah, they're they're they do a they're physical defensively. Yeah. Uh, they do a good job scouting. Bob does a hell of a job. Um, you got you two know, grown men, two grown men there. Well, they got I I, I they they really got three high major players. Right, right. And right. and with Pegues the way he's come along, you could almost count. I mean, Foster, you know, Slauson and Bothwell, they are. Absolutely. And Foster and Pegues, they're right there too. So you're talking, you know, it's why they won so many games. 
what's their weakness? What's the one thing that that could be their Achilles heel uh, in, in the tourney? Well, it goes with their positive. If they're not hitting threes, then, yeah. you know, it, it, you, you live by it and you die by it. Um, I, I think that's that's Achilles' heel. Now, they've won some games where they haven't necessarily hit a bunch of threes. Um, I think what, what teams have done is you look at their numbers when teams are real physical with them and have some athleticism and make it hard on them and get them out of rhythm because they have the way they run their offense. Um, if if it's a free-flowing game for them, yeah. you're in trouble. Like, you, you have to make it – you have to make them uncomfortable. You got to disrupt them a little bit. Um, and I think Pegues is playing at a high level. And, and if if he can stay hmm. out of foul trouble and – then I, I think they're even harder to beat. But when he goes out uh, or Slauson goes out, I think that's – it's hard for him sometimes to sustain right. what they do. Mercer's Greg Gary breaking down the SoCon champs, the Furman Paladins, on Courting Cinderella's.